Hey, Tubies, this is Bob Hickman. So good to be back with all of you. I want to say thank you for coming out to my recent video, Messages from the Spirit World. You guys seem to really enjoy that, and I'm so glad you like that. Well, I promised you that we would have a video on more about prophecies concerning uh, the Middle East and Pope Francis. And, um, you know, as we talked about in my last video, I said, um, let's watch what happens and what comes out of this trip of Pope Francis. Well, I'm watching. And, by the way, on a side note, you know, to t I tell you, I, I got my evil eye pendant. And this is my newest one. I'm collecting them. It's not kind of cool. It's got crystals around it. So that's my eye, because Seggy Bob is on Prophecy Watch. And I hope you guys are on Prophecy Watch with me. So, <clears throat> anyways, this trip I found to be very, very uh, fascinating. Um, and the reason, one of the reasons I find it so fascinating is, I don't know if you knew about this, it didn't get a lot of media coverage. But when the Pope arrived in Israel, there was strangely an earthquake. Now, Israel is not traditionally known for its earthquakes, uh, but it's the day that he arrived there was an earthquake. It was a minor one, and as far as earthquakes go, a 4, 4.1, I believe. But again, this is another sign, I feel, around this Pope. You know, when Pope Benedict resigned from the, the throne of St. Peter, um, a lot of Prophecy Watch people said, oh, the next Pope is going to be the false prophet aligned with the Antichrist. Well, I have to tell you, Pope Benedict's resignation did shock the world. And interestingly, on that day, lightning struck the Vatican. Coincidence, you might say? Perhaps. But I thought, it's still interesting. From a, from a spiritual viewpoint, you know, everything has signs, especially world events. And I think that's a sign. Well, so lightning struck right at the ascension of Pope Francis. Now the Pope goes to Israel, and an earthquake shakes the whole region. A coincidence? Perhaps. But I still think we who watch the signs should pay attention. Um, the reason why I'm concerned about this is many of the ancient prophets uh, of Israel and also in the Christian era, the modern um, Christian prophets also, said that at the end of time that there would rise a man who would proclaim peace. Uh, there would actually be two. There would be an antichrist and a false prophet. And the false prophet would lead the way to the antichrist. And many people are claiming that Pope Benedict, uh, excuse me, that Pope Francis, excuse me, is the false prophet who is preparing the way for the Antichrist. Uh, according to the, the uh, prophecies uh, in the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation, uh, in the Bible, it says that in the end of time, when the false prophet arrives, uh, there will be people who will say, peace, peace, and a peace will ensue. But... According to the scriptures, it's a false peace, and then destruction will come. And I've been noticing that Pope Francis's trip is all focused around peace. Now, not that I'm a warmonger, but there's different types of peace. And is there a real and lasting peace? That's the answer. Well, according to the scriptures, the people that are proclaiming peace at this time are actually creating a false peace so that they can get influence and power. Uh, interestingly, the Pope brought with him uh, a Muslim cleric and a Jewish cleric uh, that are friends of his from back home. And I think that's, uh, you know, that, that's a nice gesture. It shows to me that he's trying to create an, uh, you know, an illusion of that everybody's hunky-dory and everything's fine. And frankly, I'm not sure that that's a, a realistic picture. Um, so his trip was focused on peace. Um, and he's even now extended to all the parties uh, in Israel, the Palestinians, an invitation to come to the Vatican soon. And I've heard that they're going to work on signing an accord uh, now, you remember I said, we'll see if this happens, but it looks like it is in the works that uh, the Vatican is lobbying now to get 
uh, control of sections of Jerusalem. And I've heard them say they would like the Temple Mount. Uh, the Temple Mount is now currently where the Muslims are. It's, a, it's the Dome of the Rock. It's a mosque. But it used to be where te the Solomon's Temple was, the Temple of Solomon, which was what the Jewish uh, holy temple in Israel was the high holy place. Well, according to the prophecies and the scriptures, um, the Temple of Solomon at the end of time will be rebuilt. And uh, according to them that the false prophet will be connected to it and the Antichrist. Uh, now, I've heard rumors, and it does look like there is some validity to this, that Pope Francis is lobbying for uh, to get back the land of the Temple Mount and to have that section of Jerusalem ceded over to the Vatican. If that should occur, the Vatican will start to take control, and I've heard that they are facilitating the beginnings of the building of the third temple or the final temple. Uh, there are different temples throughout the era and they collapse and this is going to be the final temple before what they say is the end of the world or Armageddon. Uh, so you know I don't know we'll see I'm definitely watching but um, in the coming months um, I believe it's going to be in the new year Israel has agreed to travel to the Vatican to meet with the Pope and I do believe they're going to hammer out the cord which will give the Vatican greater control over Israel. So, you know, let's watch. Uh, as I like to say, you know, here at Spiritual, we're not about terror. I'm not trying to scare you, doom and gloom. But we do have to be wise, and we should pay attention to the signs of the times. Because if these prophecies are real, then we're headed for something that's going to be very, very um, world-shocking. Now, also on Prophecy Watch, you know I have said for years, on this another note here, that uh, we're going to be seeing more and more about the alien presence, okay? Do you know that just uh, about two, three weeks ago, Pope Francis put out a statement about alien visitors to Earth? Yes, he said that should alien visitors arrive, he would like to meet with them and do photos with them and uh, would be open to teaching them of the faith and baptizing them. This was not done in jest. It was a serious uh, statement that he put out. Now you say, well, what's that about? Well, as you see, I believe that the Vatican already knows about the alien presence, and I believe they are getting ready to help to reveal that to the world. And, uh, you know, for people like us here at Spiritual, we are already used to that. We know what that's about. But for people who don't know about the aliens, this is going to be very disturbing. And having the Vatican assist in the a rollout of the news, as they say, is going to be an attempt to kind of help the world deal with it. Um, so I do believe we are getting very close to a major world revelation of the presence of the aliens. So I think all of this is coming at, the, at an interesting time. We're going to see the presence of the aliens. We're going to see Vatican get control over sections of Jerusalem, possibly the Temple Mount. I believe we're going to see the rebuilding of the Temple of Jerusalem. So all of this is happening. And, uh, you know, as it says, when they say, peace, peace, then a destruction will come upon them. So we need to be vigilant and alert and just keep an eye. So we're going to see. Let's see how... Um, in the coming months, when Israel visits the Vatican, let's see what comes out of that. Uh, I think you guys are going to be hearing of a, of a new accord sign with the Vatican uh, in Israel. It's going to be very, very interesting. So, I'm going to keep watching the skies. I'm going to keep reading the mystical prophecies. And we're going to be on Prophecy Watch. I got my eye on, and I hope you guys are going to be with me. Anyways, guys, thanks for being here. Listen, keep it here. we got more videos coming on uh, Thursday. I'm going to do a special message to all of you about Spirit Channel and how you're part of it. Okay, we're going to talk more about that. So I'm glad you're here. Be back here on Thursday. But uh, till then, I'm watching. And I am on Prophecy Watch. Thanks for being here. Blessings to all of you.